Hello, this is Ryan Matt Borden, aka Loopline. In this video, I'm going to cover the new plugin from Scrapebox for YouTube, which is the YouTube Data Scraper plugin. If you don't have it, you can go to Show Available Plugins here. You can click on it and purchase it. You can also then install it from here and update it once it's activated. It does take up to 12 hours to get activated, but they're usually very quick with that. Once it's activated, you can go to Premium Plugins again and then launch it from here. I've scraped up for the word scrape box some YouTube videos here that I just have in scrape box using the harvester and then there's two basic components to the data scraper which is the video downloader and then the comment grabber itself again this is version one of this so it's going to be a short video I'm sure there'll be additions and changes as we move on and at that point I'll do an in-depth video so we can load in our URLs from file clipboard scrape box which is just these right here, which is what I'm going to do. And then we can also load from the cloud. So Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, etc. I'm just going to load straight from Scrapebox. We have our URLs and I'm going to get some video info. And so we can do this and then let it run. Now I probably will stop it early because I don't need all these, but that's downloading video info. I can also download the actual videos themselves, the whole video. I can download just the audio. I can download the thumbnails and then I can additionally download the descriptions. So we've got a few here and we can see as we go across the different data points under the different columns that's coming in and I'm gonna stop it. And then I can go here and see the rest of the list which is videos, audio, thumbnails, and descriptions. I can also, rather than downloading all of them, just select a specific one. I can use control and click individual ones. I could use shift and do a range etc. So pretty basic. If I have a huge list and I want to work on this over time, I can save the video info here and it'll do it as a scrape box file and then I can come back later and load it and then continue. And so that's the basic elements of the comment grabber and then all of this stuff that is downloaded is going to be in the plugin folder itself. The data is. And then under the comment grabber we have some different setting wheels here um, and we can set those up. Just a quick look lets us do connections, timeouts, and the total number to retrieve and some other settings there. Same thing here under the actual comment is only grab comment without replies. So I'm going to go ahead again and load in the, I can load them from the video downloader which is over here or I can load them from Scrapebox which is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to go ahead and start this and just let it run. And we can see as it goes through here that it's just grabbing everything. And so just wrapping this up before it gets too long, we have our comments here. We can see the comments. We can right click and we can show all comments. So we can see this is everything that got downloaded. And then I can save that as an HTML file if I want to. Upload that, do whatever. Then I can also show individual files and that sort of thing. Um, like select this and then show the selected comments so then I just see this and so there's a lot of great information here that you can do as well I have the option to comments project file again this is kind of like back in the video downloader where I can save it and then load it and work with it later but the important thing to note here is that the video downloader is going directly to YouTube on the front end and getting this information just like a browser would. The comment grabber is using the Google API. If I click this it'll pop open a link in a browser that'll take me right to where I can download the API key and set that up. Again that I have other videos right now on working with Google APIs um, for the other Google add-ons and they'll be here on the channel but if you need help with that when I do the in-depth video it will be there. I can also enter the API key once I have it. It will not work without an API key, so you must have the API key for the comment grabber to work. API keys are free and simple to set up. And so once you have it set up, it just works and away you go. And that is the YouTube Data Scraper plugin. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy. And if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.